Hello everybody, this is Barry Knight coming to you guys with another Rohan campaign for the MOS Third Age Total War stuff. Yes, my lord. Today we will be besieging, or finishing the siege I should say, of Lord Saruman. Pretty much the faction leader of Isengard, his little tiny paradise with Lord Ugluk ready to die with him. Fight to the death they shall with all of their snagas and a couple Uruk raiders. We will be fighting this on the battle map, and we will not let Gamling kill Muster himself. Courage, men. We march into battle. Once we finish off Isengard, we will move on the clansmen, who will be, let's see, they're north, e northwest, I believe. <clears throat> they're in northwest or southwest. They're close. They're close to us anyway, so we'll kill them off, and that'll be that. Alright, so all the cavalry must stay back. I want one thing of these archers to kind of absorb the fire. Okay, just get everybody set up. They're their own group, and we are ready to rumble. Alright, so, with these guys on the walls... Alright guys, get moving. Let's get cracking. I guess I should have had more ladders on the right side, but... Oh well. Anyways, we'll start moving more guys up towards the gates, and we'll go to times two speed. <laughs> I'm surprised we haven't been shot at yet, but... I guess the AI doesn't like that. Not about that kind of life. Snaga archers, maybe they can't hit us from here. Well, I'm pretty sure they can, they just aren't doing anything. Huh. That's weird. And there's, there's the fire arrows. Alright, so the gate will be battered down momentarily. Exactly, nothing can beat us down. Yeah, these guys, no matter how badly we do in the battle, they're just, they're screwed. Honestly, they're all going to die. The ladders are now in place. Walls are no match for the valor and force of our arms. Oh yes, definitely. So once we get these three groups over the walls, we'll move them in on these guys to attack them from behind as we engage them in the front. I kind of like how it takes a little bit longer to bust down the gates than in uh, vanilla. Because it's a little bit more uh, realistic and lifelike, in a sense. So, uh, yeah. The battering ram has done its work. Alrighty, so we will be moving in on these guys. Oh, they're trying to run for it. Move, 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 move. Let's go, 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 go. Yep. The enemy's walls. Right, here we go. <clears throat> the question is, should we finish off the Snaga archers or not? Okay, so these guys are all in. Kill the skirmishers. Kill them. Kill them dead. 
So we'll get in some cavalry and we'll bring in one of our bodyguard. Move gambling up just because. Alrighty. These guys are here just in case anything bad happens. Yeah, we'll kill you, Urks. There they go, there they go. Chopping them down to size. Yep. <clears throat> Alright. There we go. There we go. Charge those guys. Charge those fools. Doing the main block army in. The Riders of Rohan. Alright. Oh yeah, we got plenty of guys to crush you. Crush them. Crush them. Make room for the horses. Make room for the horses. I love that. Alright. Smack them in the sides and deal devastation to them. Oh yeah, look at those numbers down. Lost some horses. Oh my gosh. Get the horses out. <laughs> save the horses! No, save the horses! They're more important. Oh, that's cool. I did not notice the thingy right there. Duh. Okay, somehow I got those archers inside, so we'll just let them stay. Just kind of have them stay there. Alrighty, well, that's a little interesting, but uh, yeah, we'll. Run back that way. We'll move the king inside. Since he's that awesome. Oh, I thought I thought I got these guys to rush back in, but I guess not. Okay, we get these skirmishers taken care of because they are really putting a hamper in our campaign, I'd say. Butcher them. Butcher them good. Now look at them fall. Numbers are just depleting faster than you can say. Ow. Ow. See, look at that. Half the enemy force remains. You just lost a good chunk of them right there. Alrighty, man. You got such a good bodyguard, we're just gonna have to take over. And look at the king's army. Defensive stance. Nice job. Look at these awesome royal guards he's got. I'm wondering if the king has a different skin or not. Because I'm not seeing any different guy. But is he just red like usual? Alrighty, take them back. Probably shouldn't have left the horses there so long, but I was just so excited. Thankful got in the battle. Oh yeah, he's just in his red, red cape, you know. My usual red cape, man. 
Actually, it looks like uh, Thaden slightly, but whatever. It's cool. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Okay, you guys go for those. You go for the regiment. We'll go for them. And when these guys turn to attack us, they'll be left open to attack. And watch the magic. Yeah, we killed about 10 of them. A little more. It's actually really good. Wow, we completely annihilated them. Ulbluk is dead. Wonderful. Get rid of these pesky sni sniper snoggers. Oh, they got little shields. That's cool. They never got shields when I was playing Dead Age. <laughs> Oh look, Soromon ran away. Yeah. Gotta kill the bastard. Get the son in law out of here before he dies. Fangle. Just do your thing. Defensive stance again. Oh man. Look at our axemen are just taking a beating from this. Alright, Thingol will go over here. Take these guys in the sides. <clears throat> and then with them occupied. Take the whole poor Kratos. The whole Kratos. And look at Saruman right there. With his white robes getting all tattered with blood. Chop him down, boys. Chop him down. Cut him down to size. And now it's time 16 speed. And we'll watch. This is the end. The last stand of the great Saruman. A mentoring command of the castle. Oh no, are you kidding me? He's gotta die. Kill him. Kill him now. Kill him. Kill him, fools. We've killed a hundred percent of their men. Come on, kill him. Come on. This is a clear victory. Oh, we finally killed him? Nice. The enemy general has fallen. King Thangal of Rohan, with a couple of friends, <clears throat> a lot of men, <clears throat> has finally smashed the resistance, which is Lord Saruman of Isengard. The White Hand is gone. With great losses, we will celebrate this victory. The tale of Aragorn and Arwen. <laughs> yes, we finally killed you, you bastard. Glory! Sack your place. Faction destroyed. The legacy of Isengard is gone. Yup, yup. Oh wait, did we get another one? Yeah, we got, we got one. Wait, we didn't have one before. Duh. <laughs> right. Well, that means we've got a really nice fortress now. We could potentially recruit a lot of stuff. Erling Swordsman would be pretty damn nice. But at this moment, we are currently out of money still. To the clansmen! Lord, my lord. Alaric. Al I, I realize it's Ulrich, but I, I like saying Alaric. Ulrich. And Gambling. Their, their banners look really close. I mean, Marshal of the Gap of Rohan, Marshal of the Wald. Marshal of the world. <laughs> yes. Merge those guys up. Yes, my lord. Leave that guy with a couple of those and some of those, and we'll head out. Your orders, my King lord. King Thangle, move it out. With honor. 
And let's see how our son's doing. Done Harrow. No. Oh yeah, that's right. We don't have any money. Ha. Where is Theoden? Yes, my lord. Where are you? There you are, boy. Falls of Raus. Well, Boromir died. Yes. Sad times. All right, so I'll wait there until we have money enough to build Your orders, stuff. My lord. Merge that. Will I have any money next turn? I suppose we'll just uh, do that and then we'll end the turn because we need more money for a watchtower to see if anything will be coming over the falls. Yeah, it's the Dunlin clans I believe we're going after next. The clans of the Dun. Dunlin. Dunlandish. Dunland. Wild men of Dunland. That's it. <clears throat> With them next on the list to die, we shall win this great war of men versus evil people. And Even though on the map our faction looks really, really tiny. And we're not gaining that much money. Yes, my lord. So let's see. I'm not at war with them, am I? Wardor. Yeah, I'm already at war with them, so it doesn't matter. Okay. So I guess uh, gambling can just stay behind because this guy needs to earn his spurs. That this Al Alric's kind of old, Lord, so I'll just Lord. leave you, 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 and we'll head out. We shall continue tomorrow. <clears throat> Don't really need that castle garrisoned. <clears throat> and yeah, Marshal of Old Pukel, Pukel, Puckle, whatever. Yes, my Lord. your orders, my Lord. <clears throat> Let's march on their lands, piss them yes. off. Yes, it's a perfect idea. Exactly what I was thinking. Theoden, we'll just leave yes, you over there for one more turn. It's because we love uh, letting you sit places with all your ten stars being stupid. Yep, I totally, totally love it. So our plans will be to finish off the wild men of the Dunland, Dunland places. Wild men of Dunland, whatever. And then we will send all assistance we can to fight off Mordor and help Gondor stay alive. But I will say that this campaign is going a lot better than last last campaign was. How do we open warfare with those people? I don't understand. Wait, can I actually see their places? Oh, that's cool. I did not notice that. Look at that, look at that. I can see their little tiny castles. Minas Tirith is really huge. Huge place, look at that white city. Mm -hmm. Your orders, my lord. Amon Hen reached. Oh yeah, where uh, Aragorn fights off the orcs to save Frodo. <sighs> Beautiful place. Love it. With honor. If I had another watchtower, I'd go right yes. in the middle here. Making but I here. don't. We shall continue tomorrow. And if I was an yes, idiot, I'd take all of the garrison here and some of these guys and I'd totally just attack. Attack the uh, peoples of Mordor, but Lord, I'm not that stupid, Lord. so. With honor. Yes, my lord. <clears throat> this place looks nice, and I want it. We shall engage. So, we shall give it prevail. to me. Yes. We got clansmen. Tribal axemen and huntsmen. Lovely. Things can only get better between us. <laughs> Things no can fool. only get Send better between us. That's bull oh, crap. Your will, my lord. All right, we'll go for another turn, and with that, it will probably be the end of the episode. If I don't think it's that great of a risk to attack the town and just auto resolve, I'll just auto resolve because. We did just smash Lord Saruman at his own game, so... You know, things happen like that. Oh no, there's more guys, ah! People of Dunland, the wild men have no time. As 
you command. We have triumphed! To battle. We shall prevail. Yes. Yes, my lord. We shall engage. Sorry about that, you guys. I was currently uh, taking a call for somebody, so... Anyways, yes, we will be taking down the Warlord Brandier and this other captain with some huntsmen. I mean, horsemen. <laughs> terrible, terrible of me. But it's a clear victory. We lose 362. They lost 468. Pretty nice job. We gained a little bit of experience for our Rohan Riders and Royal Guard. <clears throat> Glory, honor, victory. Sack their settlement, capital lost. Wow, that was a most noble quick. Conquest. Oh. Your order, okay. Your order. So just kill those guys. Release them. Show that he has some uh, chivalry. Yes, oh, no, wait. Your orders, that's some pretty nice armor. Look at that. Plus three to hit points. See, that's what happens when you give uh, the boy. Sometimes it earns his spurs. Now make babies and make me happy, okay? <laughs> Just kidding. But, uh, yeah, that's probably where we're going to end with the episode since I kind of failed on the having the phone ring there. So I apologize for that. I didn't want yes, it to happen, but it ended up happening somehow. So. Yes. Be gone. This tower will keep vigil over the... I will only address All right, so we're going to move... They will find further, back, my and then we'll keep Thingle up there. Orders, my lord. My lord. Yeah, we'll just we'll leave it for next time. So, anyways, thank you all for watching. I do apologize again for the interruption. Anyways, thank you all, and have a lovely day. Very night out.